Um, and I would like to... Oh boy. Okay, that's not new. Oh, the bridge is still up. I guess that's off the table then. Uh. Shield vest, double spikes. Prevent seal and confuse? Sure. Okay. Oh, but this is deep. I really want somebody using the information though. <laughs> on Estelle. Okay, so if I swap this out, what is this? Two, two, three. So what if I, I gave it to Joshua, didn't I? Ow! Do I, this is my only time, so I will lose something if I put that on. I really want Eagle Eye! Okay, that gets me that, but I will probably lose... Um... Hmm... Okay, EP Cut is better than EP Boot... Minus 10 is better than plus 5. This is... okay. That one actually gets me a new magic spell, though. Which, uh, Lacuria should be target everyone. I don't think I need that? Oh, that's a bunch of new things, though. Okay, then if I also do Eagle Eye... Aha! And I still have Clock Up from... Heal, I guess. Wow, that's... Hmm. I might have lost the Hell's Gate, but I don't think I really need it on her. Let's just take a quick look in here. Can't afford it. Not even close. I am close to that, but I'm not there yet. Everything! Three water only slots. Hmm. Welcome back, and good work. I'm told that you were able to save a young boy. Somehow or other. I'm still kind of in shock from when the, the redhead showed up. He used to be the leader of the Ravens, if you can believe it. I guess a gate's from here? No, but a, that's not. A gate's from the other village. A uh, gate's all over the damn place. <laughs> 
he hung out with a rough crowd and got into some serious trouble. Compared to back then, the tough types nowadays are puppy dogs. And a guy like that was allowed to become a bracer? Well, I've gotten to know him a little bit. And it turns out he wanted to become a bracer ever since he was little. Sometimes people just change. I think that's probably enough of the idle chatter. Didn't your mama ever tell you it ain't nice to talk about someone behind his back? Anyways, about the gossip. They're always about the gossip. <laughs> but is it really gossip if it's positive? Anyway, are you done with the investi your investigation? I can't say for sure, but I think they're clean. I don't think a gate is the kind of person who would do that. From what I saw last night at the Sailor's Tavern, they couldn't be the arsonists. Hell, I doubt they could have even walked in a straight line if they wanted to. I agree. Also, I don't think they would have gone... Like, okay, there are many reasons I think they were not the arsonists. <laughs> anyway, I'll see if I can find the arsonist while I'm out in the field. I'm taking over the case. And you're off it. Can you at least give us an explanation? Don't get your... Really? Uh, are we though? I'm not so sure. I don't. I actually don't think that's true. Chloe is too close to it, probably. But got to apologize. It's these two I'm worried about. The point is, you gotta be professional about it, and these two ain't. And no matter what you say, we made a promise to the mayor. Hey, Jean, John, what do the rules say about when junior and senior bracers want the same case? You are an asshole, Agate. It's just an investigation. I don't need more people. I think we're done here. Try not to hold this against me. He doesn't, though! I mean, we don't have a counter-argument, because ultimately he's... He is still our senior. And that gives him the right, apparently, to just steal it from us. But also, what an asshole! Please, he means no harm. Just don't be upset. Tact is not his strong suit, to say the least. He just doesn't know any other way to communicate. Particularly in light of the current situation. I think it may have something to do with an earlier case of his. He was pursuing someone and well. Maybe he was he maybe he was after the silver haired person. Uh, never mind about that. I can't really go into details. Let's just let him handle these criminals. Consider it a personal favor for me. It seems you were through you were quite thorough. But as I mentioned, the circumstances of this case are special. I'm terribly sorry, but you'll have to end your investigation here. <sighs> Estelle 
Mr. John, is it possible to enlist the help of the Bracer Guild for civilian events? I mean, it is. Yes, though it would depend on what kind of event you're talking about. Because of the number of people who attend, we'll be handling security at the Royal Cat Academy Festival, for example. Well then, Estelle, Joshua, would you mind helping out with our play in the meantime? Every year when the festival ends, there's a play held in the auditorium. I know the children always look forward to it. And there's still two major roles that haven't been filled. Yes, otherwise we may have to cancel the play entirely. I can't bear to think of how disappointed the children would be. I feel like she's made up these parts specifically to cheer us up. But, you know, I'm okay with that. Chloe is a good person. Okay. And will be paid for it? Yes. Well, for the girl part, we need someone who's been trained in combat. I think he'd fit the role perfectly. Uh, yes, well, talking about it is kind of, uh, well, mm, embarrassing. <laughs> oh, come on, Joshua. You're not gonna l make her say it, are you? We can do something for the kids. Where's the harm? Plus, if we do some work, they'll probably let us have some of that awesome festival food. We can't let that opportunity slip by. John, is this really a legit bracer assignment? It certainly is. Citizen outreach and regional services compromise comprise plenty of the general work that bracers do. And since the gate showed up, you do have some extra time. I certainly have no problem with it. I mean, one way or another, I suspect we're gonna end up investigating. The orphanage fire. <laughs> uh, whether we intend to or not. But anyway, but this this seems like a good distra momentary distraction. Uh, probably true. Yep, I know where it is. I went there by accident once. Wrong button. Oh, okay, yeah, sure enough, short term. And look at all of this new jobs here. There are so many of them. Uh, looking for someone to carry maintenance kit to the lighthouse for a routine inspection. Orbital factory. Um, uh, search for pirate treasure along Dulce side way. Chapel. Crone Trail. I don't even know where that is. The Sapphire Glim, a treasure of the house of Dalmore, was stolen from the mayor's residence. Please find the whereabouts uh, mayor's residence. This is no one traveler causing problems for everyone around him at Air Latem. And I'm looking for somebody to resolve this problem amicably. Please come ASAP. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tobias, who came here from the guild? Uh, yes. Okay then. Jean told me about you two, but seeing for myself just how peppy you are, I lift my spirits to the sky. Uh, you're young, that's what you are, and naturally I was worried in trusting something so valuable to potentially reckless use. 
but I worry no more. Oh no no no, you've got it all wrong. I just meant that I wasn't sure how old man Volt would take it. We helped him out when he was in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> of course he's done it before. Being the lighthouse keeper is lonely work, so a little eccentricity is to be expected. Hmm, sounds like... Were he a fisherman? He... When he was a fisherman, he used to down plenty of drinks at the Lavantar. Now he lives at the lighthouse, though. He rarely gets a chance to have his favorite drink. It's pretty sad. I'd really like to go ahead and get him what he wants, but... Well, I probably said too much. Either way, don't let the old man's unpleasantness get to you, okay? Nothing in particular. Once you're done, I'd like you to return here. Okay, yeah. Dialogue has definitely reset now. Ordnance have made the modern world a more convenient place in which to live. The invention of the airship, however, has all but negated the usefulness of Ruins Harbor. The world seems to be leaving the Septian Church behind in a similar fashion. Hmm. Huh? I saw you guys the other day. It's nice to see you again. Oh, hi! You're the guy we met on the beach, right? You can call me Jimmy. You really saved my skin before. So let me thank you again. So, uh, have you checked out the bowling board today? But why in liberal do you pick here to meet of all places? Well, I kind of stand out here, don't I? I mean, it costs a lot to put up one of these requests. I figured people see me here and ask, Hey, why are you in the chapel? And then I'll be like, So that you can find help. You can help me find some awesome treasure. Okay. It leads to the treasure of the great pirate Sh Schneermer? Aren't you from Ruin? Or, wait, you're from somewhere else? Uh, either way. Schneermer, how can you not know? If memory serves correctly, Schirmer was a pirate that used to uh, work in the waters around Ruin around a hundred years ago. Precisely! Nicely done! Leave it to the Royal Academy to teach the right things. Shame about the uniform, though. Come on, Estelle. It's not that impressive. It's just a story I've heard. That's all. That... Uh, more or less. The map has that pit marked. That's right, I was conducting a field survey. And since I found the place, monsters have started showing up. So I figured that I should get some professionals to take over. The map shows an X to the southeast of it. I figured that's gotta be the location of the treasure. that. <laughs> hey, come down! I don't want you to die of excitement or anything. Whoa, is this what I think it is? Oh wow, this is incredible! This is one of Schneermer's treasure maps. 
Hold on a sec, mister. You just said a minute ago that you had the treasure map already. That had to be the treasure map map. My map shows the location of this map, which shows where the actual treasure is. Indeed. Let's not worry about that. Sometimes we just have to suspend our disbelief to get through the day. Talking to the player there, are you, Joshua? Okay, then. It may seem a little strange that we find a, we'd find a sea chart like that. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have screenshot that. That would have made the perfect ending card. <sighs> oh, well. But the sea chart was found where the old map has the X mark. Well, as long as our client is happy, we're happy. Even if we're also very confused. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jimmy, what about the daggers? You guys can keep those. I don't have much in the way of Mira, so it's the only payment I can offer. Please, take them! Share in the mystery with me! Wow, this is really amazing. This sea chart is just a spectacular find. Uh... Oh, yeah, that guy. Hmm. I guess we finished this job, though? If we believe in it, I wonder if it may... if maybe it would pay off. Honestly, though, I think Jimmy believes a little too, uh, differently. Well, that was easy. Let's go tune that in right now, because I feel like it may lead to another job. Not immediately, I guess. Okay, well. We have one more resident to visit. Before we go anywhere from the city. Oh dear. I can't believe the sapphire glim was stolen. And why now of all possible times? Ah, you're here. I've been waiting for you to show up. I I'm Chloe's with you, I see. Yes, I'm accompanying them. We came as soon as we saw the bulletin board. What seems to be the problem? Well, as you can see, this pedestal used to be adorned with a candelabrum. This seems familiar. <laughs> Things being what they are, I would like to ask you to conduct a search. What say you? Are you available? Yep. Excellent. Now, let me give you some background. The stolen item is a candelabrum called the Sapphire Glim. It is a fine piece of craftsmanship, dating back to just after the Orbal Revolution. A Dalmor family heirloom, in fact. It would sell for hundreds of thousands of Mira were it ever placed on the open market. Yeah. It is worth so much that it's hard to... It's hard to, uh, launder. Hmm. Well, actually, money wasn't the primary motivation for this crime, it seems. Look at this card. That which nests here is a beast more dire than any other. Continue to give praise to the spirit whose blue light was lost in the darkness. 
free the spark it left behind, and I will be free. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adios see only the truth, and pass it on to you. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Do so, and the light, and the blue light will be revealed. Phantom Thief B. Three-eyed giant. It appears to be written by the thief himself. So I'm inclined to believe. Hmm. I agree. The candelabrum is said to have been made at great pains by the townsfolk and given as a gift. That might explain the give praise to the spirit part. Three-eyed giant. Okay, I don't think there are any big towers inside of Ruan, but there is the lighthouse. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, I don't think the light has towers of a ruin. Uh, the bridge might, but I don't think it has three eyes. Okay, then. It has already been looked over by the residents. I'd like for you to search the surrounding area. The card left you with a distinct clue to follow. Don't tarry! The candelabra must be recovered. I greatly appreciate your understanding. Now, I'll leave you to concentrate. I'll be upstairs to so let me know if you find anything. That's a little odd, yeah. Yeah, like, room is big, but it's not very tall. Okay. I made it! Yay! And on that note... Save, and I am going to stop off here for the day. Thank you for joining me, and have an excellent day, or evening, or night, or whatever the time it may be where you are. I need to go buy stuff so that I can cook dinner in, in quite soon. Bye! <laughs>